Hey guys, it's Deidre23 here, and today I'm going to do a polymer clay tutorial for you guys because since my last one, you guys really wanted another one. So I actually got a request to make a video on how to make doll food. So I thought that would be really cool because this video is basically like combining crafts with dolls. So I thought it'd be really cool. So yeah, today I'm going to show you guys how to make a polymer clay donut. And this is super duper easy to make and it's so cute. And yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy this video and comment down below for more suggestions for more polymer clay tutorials or any other tutorials. So yeah, let's get started. What you will need for this project is four colors of polymer clay. You actually only need three colors, but I'm going to be using four. So first of all, you are going to have to have some sort of tan clay. So I'm just using this color by Sculpey. And you're also going to need a color for the frosting. And I decided that I would actually mix these two colors together and make it like a swirl pattern. So I'm just using this really pretty mint blue green color. And then I'm using this hot pink color. And then you're also going to need a color for the sprinkles. I'm just using this dark blue, but you could use whatever color you want. You're also going to need some type of dotting tool. I'm just using this tool from Sculpey that's also a blending tool, but you won't be needing the blending tool today. I'm just going to use this dotting tool and I'm just using the medium size, but any ball tool would work. A blade and a rolling pin and I know I do have a polymer clay pasta machine which basically rolls out clay and it's like a machine it's really cool but the reason I'm not using that in this video is just because it's really big and I can't really film it on camera well yeah I can but um, it's just easier to film how I do it with a rolling pin and also the rolling pin would actually be easier for this project so yeah that's basically all you need for materials and let's just get started with the tutorial First you are just going to take your tan clay and just put it on your surface and lightly press it down with your finger so you get this sort of flattened circle shape and this is going to be the base of the donut. So you're just going to want to play around with this and shape it so that it looks how you want it to. Now if you are mixing two pieces or two colors of clay together to get the marbled frosting effect, all you have to do is roll out just a little bit of your clay like that so you're going to want to do that to both pieces of clay and now you're basically just going to want to twist them together just like that and then you're just going to want to mush it up and mix it up just make sure that it looks like a marbled effect and this might take quite a while but it's really worth it after you get this really pretty color now you just want to sort of shape it into a ball and then take your rolling pin and you're not going to actually roll it out but you're just going to want to take it and just kind of press it down and kind of rolling it but making sure you're not rolling it too thin just about like right there because you don't want it to be a long piece and you could just press it with your fingers to make it thinner if you need to and now you are just going to push it on your donut and you might have to cut off some excess so now this is what it should look like and now we are just going to take the dotting tool and basically you're going to flip your donut over so that you see only the tan side and you're just going to push it in halfway and you want to make sure that you don't push it in all the way and then you're just going to kind of see right where you just push that in and then push it in from the top part just like that. And you're just going to want to keep going from each side, just pushing through, just so you get a little hole in the center of your donut. You could leave your donut how it is if you want, but I think it looks super duper cute when you add sprinkles. So all you're going to do is take your little small ball of clay that you were going to use to make the sprinkles, and you're just going to roll it into a small log. And I don't think it should be too thick because if you have like super huge sprinkles on your donut, it's kind of going to look a little weird. So I think about this thick is pretty good. So now you're just going to take your blade and easily just cut little pieces off of your log so that you get your little sprinkles. I'm just going to place the sprinkles onto the donut.
So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and thank you so much for watching. And make sure you guys subscribe if you're not already, because I will be making a lot more polymer clay tutorials soon. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!